Hi, I'm Elliot. Today I'm going to tie an elk hair caddis. Our materials we're going to use are um, brown grizzly hackle. Well, the, one of the brown ones, not the black ones. Um, we're going to use a mustad hook size 8 right there. Elk hair and some um, orangish reddish dubbing. So we start off with getting our thread wrapped around the hook pretty tightly. You can go to about the, pretty close to the shank, about um, an inch on with the thread. Once you have it at least an inch on, trim, trim the part right there really close. And now it's time for your dubbing. I'm gonna use um, rust colored dubbing. You can use any brown color or um, any color really. I like using rust color because this is, uh, this looks like a brown fly, so. Rust is pretty much brown always. Well, wrap it on there. If, if you need more, just uh, grab a bit more dubbing. And um, wrap it on there with your fingers. And then do the same as you just did. If you, you might need a bit more at the front so it doesn't look like it's a total mess <laughs> sometimes, but um, you can just wrap it on. That's good. And now we're going to do the um brown grizzly hackle so try to grab a piece about um pretty long um it doesn't need if you have a hackle gauge you can um just look on there to see what size it is but i like to just do it without a hackle gauge um you cut it there. I like to reuse one of these um, so I can uh, not waste my money, just uh, use what I have. So pull back a few fibers so you can wrap it on nicely right there. If there's a spot up there, trim it close. Wrap to the other side now. End it on that side with a feet two or one wrap. Well, if it lets go, you can go back to the start and tie it on again. I might need, if, if it's out too much, that's not good. You'll have to, your bobbin is out too much, that's not good. Because if, if it's out too much, it's hard for you to wrap. So do that again. And start wrapping with your hackle. towards the end and tie it right there. Cut it 
if it's long enough, you can put it back in your bag or on the thing. Pick off any of the um, loose fibers. And now very careful not to trap the hackle fibers. Move back to the front. Very, very slowly so you don't move any of the hackle fibers over. If there are any hackle fibers there, trim them off. And now it's time for the elk hair or deer hair. So grab a little piece of elk hair, like this, cut it, and wrap it on. pretty close to the hook eye. And if there are any hackle fibers sticking out of that, just trim them off. Now, put your elk hair back or do your hair. And whip finish. If you messed up, you can just try it. Put it over. And that is a caddis fly. Bye. Thanks for watching.